Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. It's your girl, Sue Solo. This is Midday, the Sue Solo way, and I have a very special treat for people who like things like, you know, cars and action and series and music, because apparently music is a big hit on this new series. But we are talking to the director of Transformers, Rise of the Beast, which is in theaters June 9th of this year, 2023, Stephen Capel Jr. And we're also talking to the star. I would say super big star. I think that a lot of people know of this man. He's got strong African roots. He is in here styling on him. Got the goals. Got the hair going crazy right now. We are talking to Toby Wigway. The end is silent. Come on. The end is silent. (laughs) The end is mad silent. Yeah, but the the star is a stretch. Let's say Anthony (laughs) Wambos is a star. A a co-star. A half star. You don't know what they say about you in these streets. You're being very humble right now, Ah. and that's okay. Because the people talk. You're you're a big star. So let's get into talking about this. So not a lot of movies go into a third, a fourth, a fifth, let alone seven. You guys officially have seven series. What does it take to get to seven? Well, I mean, for Transformers, I feel like from the moment they started, yeah, money, one. That (laughs) takes takes a lot to get number seven. You got to do well. But beyond that, I think they were able to, like, keep up with the culture throughout the different eras. You know what I mean? Like, from the 80s, they played hard into rock music. The 90s started a Beast War. The early 2000s Uh was, like, Transformers live action, and now it's us. Like, we're actually, one, finally in a movie. Uh, So there is a bit of a takeover there. But two, just being able to, like, tell a different story, make sure people connect to the characters Mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So I feel like... That was my job and what we kind of brought to this to keep the Transformers sort of legacy alive during this era. So, yeah. How are the characters relating to the people in real time? Uh, it, it is happening is it in real time. Yeah. It, well, it feels like that in real time now because people are actually starting to see the movie now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, to travel with the film and afterwards everybody's coming up to it. It's like, yo, we felt us. We're in the yeah. film. And, like, yeah. I'm connecting to Anthony. I'm connecting to Dom. You know, young black girl from Brooklyn. Like, we yeah. don't get to be on platforms like this yeah. and in films like this. So, um, to be able to have that in Transformers is huge. So it is in real time. Culturally, in a movie, uh, it's 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 everywhere. You know, like you said, it's a lot of action, it's a lot of emotion, and I need a lot of actors who can portray that. Michelle Yeoh's of the world, the Peter Dinklage's of the world. So it's like a really great cast. Oh, and it's one new upcoming actor named <laughs> Toby. Uh, awesome come film, on, you know, come on. Who got his chops? Wit. Stephen Cable Jr. Yeah. Not somewhat of a star. Tell me your roots. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that, okay? Listen, your roots are heavily vested in Africa. This is Nigeria, to be exact, right? Yeah. So what does it mean for you, coming from Nigeria, Come on. being here, living these yeah. dreams that I think a lot of people in Africa, almost no matter what part of Africa you're from, yeah. don't really see this as a real dream. Yeah, or as a, yeah, or as a reality. Something attainable, yeah. exactly. Yeah, because it wasn't a reality, to be honest, mm. uh, uh, until now, thanks to Stephen Cable Jr. Come on, you didn't huh? put the first Nigerian kid <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, we'll you got a whole we'll country. Yeah, we come on. We we are forever indebted. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, nah, it's beautiful. It's an immaculate time, bro. Yeah. Uh and, and I and the movie is amazing and it's an amazing opportunity to to like really hold the torch and, and lead the way uh into a arena that I never thought I would be a part of. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I thought I was going to start, and nope, I'm not going to say that, because that's going to sound crazy. Yep, all right, let's just keep going. <laughs> yep, I get that. So I'm from Ethiopia, and yeah. I think that this is something that my mom is still like, wait a minute, what do you do for a living? Yeah. Why, why are you outside? Mm. You're, yes. You have to host clubs, and like she just doesn't mm. understand the overall picture of it. Yeah. So sometimes it does feel like a little bit of pressure, because people want you to use your platform to talk all about what's going on back home. Yes. How do you balance being true to your culture yeah. but also living out this dream? Oh yeah, I just yeah, I'm more so tied to uh my like low key guy centered purpose in my life. You know, my parents had a very specific thing that they wanted me to do. Doctor, lawyer, engineer. You That's understand. It. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but my mom hit me with a like uh like a curveball like when I was like uh ah, twenty five. She was like, Toby, why would you why can't you not be a pilot? I said, Mom, when did I ever come to you with planes? No, 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 I'm dead serious. She really wanted me to be a pilot out of nowhere. I, I this is actually after I graduated from college and everything. It's because, it's because I have no, you know what I'm saying, no real job or nothing like that. She yeah. was like, I want you to be a pilot. I said, Mom, yeah, that's not going to happen. She said, when will you? Then my dad came with it. Toby, when will you go and get that real job? Man, why do you love poverty? Then, yeah. <laughs> then they, yeah. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Let's stay locked in. Stay locked in. I then, love uh, flat, flash forward to. You know, day before yesterday in Houston, they was able to see me on, you know what I'm saying, at, at the uh, at the premiere of, 
uh, Transformers Rise yeah. of the Beast. Yeah, at, at the crib. So, you know, they don't ask them kind of questions. Now they just ask them to take pictures so they can send to their friends. Shout out to you. Yeah, you know, leading crazy. the way, yeah. inspiring people from your from your country, your culture. Yeah. And Stephen, tell me, what does it mean for Transformers to be out right now in this day and age, at this time, in the culture that we're living in? It's a it's a special moment, you know what I mean? I think uh, to, to be part of, again, the Transformers legacy, but also like... Like cinematic history, you know what I mean? Like, the fact that we're here right now, it's a really hot summer in terms of films, probably mm-hmm. one of the most chaotic and busiest ones, um, blockbuster hit-wise, in terms of having movies in theaters. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of us out there, but the fact that last week you have The uh, Little it's Mermaid. It's not a lot of cables. It's not, it ain't a lot of cables. Come on, let's not play that game. <laughs> but the it's fact not a lot that, of use. Uh, it's, yes, it's one, one of a kind. You're right. Ah, right. there we go. Toby. Walk uh, into that. But, like, to have, like, last <laughs> week Little Mermaid drop, Black Lee, to yeah. have Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. We're, we're, we're in it, and then to have Transformers, we are here. So, like, back to back to back, has never actually really been done before 100%. in the summer. Here. So that's where we were breaking yeah. some history in terms of, like, the industry as a whole, and I think that's really special. And so, again, if, to be a part of that and to, like, deliver it or deliver that on that on many levels is, yeah, is, yeah it's mind-blowing. Congratulations to you guys, the Thank entire you. cast. Thank you for coming to Midday the Sue Solo Way at Hot 1079 and talking to us about Transformers Rise of the Beast, which again is in theaters June 9th. Please make sure you guys get those tickets. Go enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. So much. Appreciate Thank it.